With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So students, here's our question: A mixture of n1 moles of diatomic gas and n2 moles of monoatomic gas has Cp by Cv, that is gamma. Gamma is a specific heat is equals to three by two. Then we have to relate the n1 and n2. Okay, so now if n1 is the number of moles of diatomic gas and gamma one is the specific heat of diatomic gas, okay, the value for gamma one of diatomic gas is given by seven upon five, okay, and n2 is the number of moles of monoatomic gas, okay, and gamma two is the specific heat for monoatomic gas, for monoatomic gas. Gamma two is given by five upon three. Okay, then the relation between n one, n two, and this gamma is given by n one plus n two divided by gamma minus one is equals to n one divided by gamma one minus one plus n two divided by gamma two minus one. Okay. So this is the relation between specific heat and number of moles in a mixture. So now we have the value of n one, n two, gamma one, gamma two, okay, and also for gamma. So we will relate n one and n two here. So let us put the values here. So n one and n two will remain as it is, divided by the gamma has the value here is three by two, minus one is equals to n one. Divided by gamma one is equals to seven by five minus one plus n two divided by gamma two is equals to five by three minus one. Okay, so now let us simplify it. So here it will be n one plus n two divided by three by two minus one. It will be equals to one by two. That is equals to n one upon seven by five minus one will be equals to Two by five, okay. Plus n two divided by five by three minus one, it will be two by three. Okay. Now take this term to numerator. Okay. So now we have two into n one plus n two is equals to here it will be five n one divided by two plus three n two divided by two. Okay. Now we can take LCM here, so it will be two, and in numerator five n one plus three n two. Okay, now cross multiply this, so it will be four n one plus n two is equals to here it is five n one plus three n two. Okay, now it will be four n one plus four n two is equals to five n one plus three n two. Now take the terms having n1 and n1 on same side and n2 on another side. So it will be 4n2 minus 3n2 is equals to 5n1 minus 4n1. Okay. So here n2 will be equals to 5n1 minus 4n1 is equals to n1. So we have n2 is equals to n1. Okay. So this is the relation between n1 and n2 here. Now let us see the options here. So option B is n1 equals to n2. So it will be our correct answer for this question. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.